Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today we're actually going to be trying out the new Bretman Rock Wet n Wild collection. I bought all the items from the collection. We've got an eyeshadow palette, the highlight, a setting spray, a, a brush and a gloss. So I'll be using other products of course in this video to create a look but I'm so excited to try these out. I've seen swatches of the palette and they look insane. So we're going to be jumping straight into it. I'm wearing a hairpiece today. What do you guys think? There will be a hair tutorial on my Instagram so do make sure to follow me on there um, if you haven't already. But the extension piece is from Lullabells. I'll link it in the info box. I'm going to do my eyebrows first. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler in the shade Black Brown. Just going to lightly go over our brows. I really, really like this um, Fenty brow pencil. It just makes your brows look bomb and it's not too harsh and the shade's like perfect as well. Then I'm gonna use my Benefit 24 hour brow setter just to set those brows in place. I'm just gonna carve my eyebrows as usual. I just want this look to be extra glam. Just gonna carve here. I just want to say you guys have been going all out with the cookie recreations on Instagram. I love seeing your recreations. Um, obviously it's not my recipe, it's Tanya Burr's, but I'm so glad that you guys were inspired by the video and it made you want to try them. They're honestly so yummy. I can only eat one though, but it's the best thing ever. Everyone in the house loved them. Not My sister not too much because she has sensitive teeth and there is quite a lot of chocolate in there. I'm just using my tart shape tape right now to carve my brows. So yeah, if you do ever feel inspired by my cooking videos or even my makeup videos, do tag me on Instagram. Sometimes I repost on my stories um, and I just love seeing them. It makes my day, honestly. This is the Wet n Wild Bretman Rock palette and these are the shades right here. Everything from the collection was reasonably affordable. I think I bought everything for like 50 pounds. Question here is, what shades to use i don't know like i want to use everything in here i'm not going to go for the greens because i've done a few green looks um recently it's so hard i don't know which one let me just first prep my lids so i'm using the same tart shape tape concealer you really want a clean canvas for your base i think i want to go in with the reds maybe a little bit purple i think that's what we're going to do so let's first put pounce on them gonna put that in the crease I'm using a morphe Jaclyn Hill JH32 brush I just got these and so far it's blending pretty well it's really great for the crease it just fits right in so I'm bringing this in the crease the inner corner and the outer corner as well you just want to keep like a little gap in the center basically just a little close-up Look how intense that is. This is wet and wild, guys. Bretman Rock was not going to settle down for no type of ish, okay? Ooh, that's blending beautifully. That is intense pigment. I mean, look at my brush. Oh, so far I'm really happy with that. So I'm just gonna use two, two can play that game. Two can play that game. Two can. Very unique name. But this is just like a more vibrant red, more concentrated in the crease and the outer corners, and just less blown out. That is so intense. Like. I'm actually so shook right now. So I don't know if I should use Prowl or King of the Jungle. I think I'm going to use King of the Jungle. It's like a more yellow gold. I actually think I'm going to use Prowl actually. I can't even make my mind up. My screen's extra glowy, you know. I did a mask treatment today. 
So now we're going to use a little bit of NYX glitter glue for the center. I'm just literally going to pat that right on the center. Honestly, this makes such a difference. Even if you're not using glitter, it just makes the shadow appear more intense. Now I'm getting prowl. I'm just going to press that in the center. I'm now going to use a little bit of Maybelline liner. This is the black tattoo liner. We're just gonna just roughly line the lash line. It honestly doesn't have to be neat, but we're gonna go in with some of the black shade in a palette called Alpha. And we're just going to buff this on the liner. So this is just the liner smoked out and that's just the pure liner. I prefer just like a smoky liner. Just adds a little something. Now I'm going to apply some Maybelline Lash Lift on my lashes. I'm just going to take a clean brush just to like blend the edges a little bit better so i'm going to be using the hoodie lashes by huda beauty and honestly these lashes are bomb right lashes are on i'm just going to go in with a bit of black because i've managed to get some liner everywhere just one thing about the palette the black is not as intense as i usually like my blacks it's definitely a not a opaque black for sure it seems to be working fine just to smudge out my liner but would i use this like as an intense kind of like smoky eye probably not i'm also not mad at it considering like the price of the palette okay now we can move on to skin i'm actually quite happy because there wasn't much fallout either I'm just going to first start with the Live Tinted Hue Stick in Rise. I'm just going to put it around my mouth. All these spots. Then for foundation, we're going to use the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in Brown Sugar. I'm going to dot this all over my skin. I find when I dot this, kind of like work the product in. Because it is a thicker foundation, it just blends so much easier. I'm just going to blend this in. Look how flawless this foundation is. Brown sugar is like my perfect shade. So many of you have loved my Netflix recommendations on Instagram. I did some of my stories. Honestly, I, at this point, I just feel like I've seen everything possible on Netflix. Maybe not everything, but um, I did recommend you guys a bunch of shows and so many of you loved it. So I was thinking to do like shows I would recommend on Netflix um, f video for YouTube because... I feel like during these times, that's what a lot of us is doing, just watching a bunch of um, Netflix shows. Although there is one that's called Never Have I Ever. It's such a good show. It's such a nice series to finally see brown girls, not even just brown, South Indian brown girls um, on there. It addresses problems and issues that brown girls face in a modern Western world um especially when you have a very traditional family um the aunties are just so on point um <laughs> so yeah i definitely recommend that it's it was very refreshing funny i was bawling on the last episode and so many of you just binge watched it on the on one in one day for concealer i'm using the huda beauty overachiever concealer i'm actually mixing graham kaka kaka what <laughs> I'm actually mixing graham cracker and toasted almond together. I'm going to apply this as a triangle. Um, there's a new French show on Netflix that I watch. It's called Into the Dark. I mean, it's okay. It's quite intense. My my attention drifts away at some points, but some good bits are good. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Then we're going to go in with some cream bronzer. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in chocolate. And 
and I'm just going to use my sponge just to like put it all in place. Oh, that blended so nicely. Using chocolate again, it's actually more on a cooler tone, but it's perfect for like a beautiful contour. I'm just going to use some of the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer in Cacao. And we're just going to bronze the skin a little bit. I am digging this hairpiece, honestly. I can't forget in cute nose contour, so I'm just going to use some of that. And just you know freehandingly just blending that on my nose then I'm gonna brush some of the Huda Beauty easy bake powder in blondie and we're really gonna like press this under our eyes Oh, I just love a good glam. I'm so happy with this purchase and it was on sale as well. So you guys want to grab it, definitely grab it guys because it's amazing. Then for blush, I'm going to use my NARS Orgasm Blush. Okay, now for the exciting part, we're going to go in with the Jungle Rock Loose Highlighting Duo. Because you can like use these to like separate them. So you have like a pinky glittery kind of powder and like a gold highlighting powder. So those are the two shades. You definitely have a pinky glittery kind of thing. I don't know if I would wear that on my face to be honest. But then you have a beautiful gold champagne highlight. Of course we're going to use the brush. This is what the brush looks like. It's super soft. Oh no! Oh, it's actually really nice. It actually blends really well as well because I put a lot there and it just spread it out really nicely. Oh, that looks so nice. But yeah, the pink side would, for me personally, I wouldn't put it on my face. It's too, it's just too glittery. But it's a pretty pink shade with like gold flecks in there. So I've just put that on my inner corner. Okay, now we're gonna go back into the palette. And we're just going to blend the shade Feline at Myself on my lower lash line. Are you guys feeling this look or not? Like, I love it. I love the base. I love everything. We just got the, the lips to do and then we're done. So I'm just going to apply some lip liner on my lips. Then I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in Girls Trip. Then I'm going to finish off with the Jungle Rock Lip Gloss in Freaky, which is also part of the collection. I don't know why in this video I've been playing back Bretman Rock's voice in my head. It's got... It's definitely got a weird scent, I'm not going to lie. It's a very thin gloss, not sticky at all, and it has flecks of like purple and lilac in it. This is definitely a gloss I would like top on my lip combinations because it's so comfortable it doesn't even feel like there's gloss on my lips but my lips feel really hydrated i'm just going to go in with a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes all right this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video all i can say is that i'm so pleased with the collection i actually almost forgot about the spray so he came out with a three-in-one face mist it has a bit of a glow to it so we're going to spray this all over I do actually really like the spray because it smells amazing, it's not glittery, it just gives a really subtle glow. I've like put it on my arms and stuff, it's just really good. It's definitely something I would bring with me on holiday. I'm super pleased with the palette, like look at that, I can create so many looks with this. It was so so affordable, the colours blended amazingly, they're very pigmented, there was barely any fallout. The only thing I would say was the black was a little bit disappointing but considering the price of the palette i'm not too mad at all i do like the gloss it's very comfortable i'm not the biggest fan of the highlight it's a bit light for me it's super glowy i would definitely wear a little bit less of it um and the pink one's a bit too glittery i don't know how you would wear it on the face but it'll be nice if you're going like for a night out just a quick like sweep of it or if you're going clubbing 
um, but for me personally, I'm not just like a big fan of it to be honest. Yeah, the, the highlighters are just a bit too light for me. And but the brush is really worth it. It's so soft and it's perfect for applying highlight. I do like the mist. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what other products you want me to try out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.